sitting here and doing what I do if I couldn't say, I trust in the Lord. Jesus, I trust in you. You know, one of the things about that um, that's also uh, an important aspect of trusting in him is that it may not mean that everything goes your way. Because Jesus, our Lord, himself said, Father, take this cup away from me. And the answer was no. Right. And, and that's a huge consolation uh, that the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, the all-powerful God, the eternal Word, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, through his human nature, said, Father, if it be possible, take this cup. So if you say it at a critical juncture in life, or if I say it, you're not in bad company. Uh, but in the end... Uh, he said, not my will, but yours be done. And so, you know, I think that's what has to uh, sustain us. And, you know, I think the, uh, the divine mercy devotion that we all know about, uh, St. Faustina, it's so much a devotion for our times. Uh, it, it, and, and, you know, the picture of Jesus, divine mercy right under it, you know what it says, Jesus, I trust in you. I've had to say that from places of incredible pain and incredible fear, scared to death that I wouldn't make it one more day. Physically, emotionally, uh, I've been threatened. I have death threats. I, I have uh, uh, private detectives stalking me with telephoto lenses to try to get something on me. I have so much. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, I get sick of it as you can imagine. And sometimes uh, I lay awake all night scared to death, scared to death. The perspiration runs down my face. I'm scared. But fear is useless. What is needed is trust. That's the Word of God. And, and I know that without any question. Jesus said that eternally. You know, yesterday, today, and forever, fear is useless. What is needed is trust. Whether you're facing cancer, bankruptcy, whatever it is, what is needed is trust.